What's up, you guys? So in case you missed it, Sonia Richards Ross, y'all's favorite Atlanta housewife that doesn't really live in Atlanta, went on the Carlos King podcast to talk about all things Real Housewives of Atlanta. And her answer to his question about who she would rather film with on Roa has gone viral. So we're going to get into that in this video. But first, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join the Layla Lynn family and click the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that you're feeling your girl. Okay, so Senior Richards Ross made an appearance on the Carlos King podcast, which I have linked to below. He has a lot of housewives and former housewives come on his podcast as he is part of the foundation of the Real Housewives franchise. Carlos used to produce on both the Real Housewives of Atlanta and New Jersey, and he basically became infamous when Phaedra blamed him for being the reason she lied on Candy, saying Candy and Ty wanted to get Portia in their dungeon. So during the course of the interview, Carlos asked Sanya, who are five women that you would love to be on a season with? That was the exact question. Who are five women that you would love to be on a season with? He didn't ask her who she would fire or who she wants gone from the show like Andy Cohen sometimes does on Watch What Happens Live. That's not what he asked her. He specifically asked her who she wants on the show. And y'all know that the housewives take those type of questions very seriously. And her answer apparently upset Candy. Who are five women that you would love to be on a season with? Okay, so me, Marlo, Sheree. Uh huh. Oh man. Um, P any housewife, past, present, future. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I've been on with Candy and Kenya, so I feel like I've you know experienced them. So do I bring them back or do I bring on somebody new? So, um, I always thought Phaedra was a hoot. So I think you know it'd be cool to film with Phaedra. Um, even though I know Candy and Phaedra won't film, so that means I have to leave Candy off for next season. I'm gonna bring her back. I'm gonna bring her back for season twenty. Okay. <laughs> bring her back. And um and Portia. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think Portia. Dang. So who else is somebody that's from the past that I would love to film with? Because you have Deshaun Snow, Lisa Wu, Nene Leakes, Kim Zoziak. Claudia Jordan, Shamar. Candy and Sanya have a relationship outside of filming, so I am surprised that Sanya would want to film with Phaedra, Portia, and Claudia rather than Candy and Kenya. It seems like whenever Candy supports someone, like putting them on her social media and helping their business grow, they turn around and throw her under the bus. Candy has had Sanya on her social media, which has over 10 million followers, and she promoted her Mommy Nation business on there. And Sanya has even said that Candy supports her. But apparently, just because you support someone and their business doesn't mean that they support you. So Candy addressed Sanya's statement on her Speak On It YouTube show after Real Housewives of Atlanta last night. And Candy said she feels like Sanya is just a fan wanting to film with the people she doesn't even know and hasn't ever met. And she questioned how Sanya could see her off the show, but not her own self off the show. Sanya really starting to get on my nerves with this whole um, trying to be Marlo's attorney or her her counselor, her spokesperson. I don't know what she's trying to be, but she can do it somewhere else because I'm not hearing it. You don't even know that woman like that to even be trying to tell me what she thought and how she's feeling. You only know what she portrays when those cameras are on. You done seen some other things happen when the camera's off. So like my my thing is like, lady, don't come at me saying, oh, you know, she's just, no, mm -mm, I don't wanna hear it. That's why really, Sonya almost had me hide at that Gucci brunch when she started doing too much like, all this, this, don't be over here mediating for her. Don't be, nah, I don't want to hear it. They steady be trying to say people are speaking for me just because, okay, I can't help it. Kenya just don't like you, okay? Kenya just don't like 
Marlo said every chance she get, she gonna hit her with a one-two with some shade or whatever. That's just who Kenya is. It ain't got nothing to do with her trying to speak up for me. And Drew had her own issue with Marlo, okay? Because she was still feeling away because Marlo had screamed on her. That ain't got nothing to do with me. But y'all steady want to be like, oh, Candy's minions or Candy got people speaking for her. What do you call what Sonya was doing sitting right at the table? What did you call it? Help me understand. Because it definitely looked like she was speaking for Marlo. Am I, am I tripping? And she was getting on my nerves while doing it. And what I was saying before about how Sonya getting on my nerves on the show and off. Yeah, I saw that little uh, clip of her doing the interview saying that she could see me off the show next season. Did you really say that? You see me off, but you don't see you off? <laughs> okay, boo-boo. <laughs> she sees me off and she sees, see she was a Kenyan. Yeah, she was trying to bring back people that she's been fans of on the show. You don't even know them people. <laughs> you don't even know those people. You want to bring back these people that you ain't even met before some of them. Hell no. I'm just really cracking up because like you are talking as a fan. And if we want to talk about what the fans have to say, <laughs> then you might not want to be talking about who shouldn't be here. Because I seen what the fans be saying online. If you're going to talk about me not being here next year, ma'am, then you might want to talk about yourself. People love to try to say that I am responsible or I am firing or I have something to do when people are not on the show, right? They always want to give me the blame, right? Which really, in fact, I is there's only been one person that I said I don't want to be on the show with ever. Anybody else, I've never said that I don't want to be on the show with them people. Like, I don't care if I don't get along with them. I don't care if I don't get along with them. Because to be honest with you, I really don't want to influence whether somebody is here or not. Because I don't want to, like, you know, step on somebody's paper, right? So, um, how am I not? Because they're, according to the world, I'm always responsible when somebody ain't here. Don't answer the other question of who would you want on the show because that means you're eliminating. So answer the question of who you would want fired. Yeah, well, typically when I, at least about this season, I typically was like, you know, keep what we have because we finally like get to a point where people are picking their whatever, how they feel about whoever. And add to me, add some people. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. But either way, there's life after the show. We've seen other people have life after the show. So when it's whoever's time to go, it's going to be their time to go. Whether it be me or you. The one thing that I will say about Sonya, I've always told people I like Sonya. You know what I mean? I thought we was, you know, pretty cool. But the more and more, further, further we get, the more and more it feels like she's picking a side. And if the side that you want to pick is over there, stay over there. <laughs> That's how I look. That's why, because it's just like, for me, I hold back on certain people, right? Certain people, you know, you know, you hold back a little bit just because you don't really want to drag them. Because you oh, you're so sweet. I don't want to drag you like that. But you keep on. Now back to the episode. So you guys, it looks like Senya really is starting to pick a side. And maybe she is about to stop flip-flopping. And it seems like she may be going the route of getting under Candy's skin to make sure she stays on this show, just like Marlo and Courtney are doing this season. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Sanya saying she could see herself filming without Candy after Candy has tried to befriend her. Do you think Sanya is two-faced? Or do you think she just doesn't gel with Candy like she gels with Marlo? Leave a comment and share your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching.